Uh, hello, my name is Christopher Koche. I'm out of Makaha, Oahu, and my paper was called Creative Spaces, the Battleground for the Culture War. Uh, I had just said my name. Uh, I transferred over, over from LCC two semesters ago, not including this one. I graduated from Waianae High School back in 2000. I am 41, so I'm a oldie. Uh, my program of study is general creative media. My concentration is on film production and creative writing, specifically screenwriting. This is just a summary of what I'm going to go over. Um, I believe everyone's done this. I'm going to fast forward through this. So my thesis statement is ideology and politics impact various creative mediums. From the methods used, their narratives being pushed, examples of specific occurrences within those fields and the ways in which creatives are resisting the mob mentality of the imposing ideological influence of modern culture. The objective for my research is uh, prevailing culture, cultural ideologies is a pertinent area of study because it poses a significant obstacle to creatives in fields such as film, video game design, comics, and tabletop RPGs. The subject at hand warrants scholarly investigation as there appears to be a trend where corporations Sorry, I got to minimize. May opt to incur financial losses to bolster their virtuous image in the eyes of certain segments of society. The implications of this trend are concerning, as they suggest that certain perspectives or political leanings may be endorsed within certain spaces while being marginalized in others. Given the inherent value of diversity of thought, this phenomenon is particularly disconcerting and raises questions regarding the potential for Orwellian thought policing to take root. My senior capstone plans. Through consultation with my instructor, I've decided to make a mini docu-series on YouTube using shorts, as that's the format that the college going generation is most interested in viewing content, and longer videos to give context to the topics covered. I'll interview the college going generation on commonly held meta narratives and whether or not they believe them to be true, or are they just or are they just supporting someone else's subjective truth? In, this, in addition to that, I'll interview creatives in a variety of fields to see how modern culture has affected them and their thoughts on how to solve these issues. The, the significance. The importance of finding out what this generation believes and if they fully grasp or understand what is being said will inform my audience on whether or not those commonly held beliefs are the truth. Oh, I'm reiterating what I said earlier. The subjective truths of an ideology person or political party. Future implications. If I'm able to pro provide perspectives or ideas that run in opposition to their own that seem reasonable, I believe that will allow the younger generation the opportunity to grow and gain more critical thinking skills. Uh, another significance is to give, to give creators an outlet to express their opinions and feelings on how modern culture has affected them and their fields. Hopefully this will start a precedent of allowing creatives to express their opinions and beliefs in a way that will not negatively impact their ability to receive work where they're not trying to impose their and where they're not trying to impose their views on their audience. Data. This data is somewhat deceptive. Um, so the younger generation seems to uh, endorse free speech online, but I believe it might be skewed because I think they're thinking only free, free, free speech for themselves. So. I'm not entirely sure how I should interpret this data. Um, in this second data set, the third uh, section down, the internet makes it easier for large groups to collectively shame someone for their views. The majority of people believe that's the case. So the majority of us see this as a problem. My target audience, uh, I just reiterated, Reiterating what I said before, it's possible that the first data set means that I may have to target an older generation with my interviews as they seem more concerned with safe spaces rather than freedom of speech slash expression. So the three groups that I came up with were the current gen generation of college students, creatives that may be too afraid of the consequences for speaking their mind, those that are ide ideologically possessed but are willing to listen to other perspectives. My proposed solution is 
The present study is a, of considerable importance in that it endeavors to establish an environment in which creatives are not sub subjected to undue suppression by a collective, while simultaneously ensuring that they themselves do not perpetuate a culture that compromises the integrity of their artistic output. To achieve this end, the study proposes a rigorous examination of the premises, premises underlying ideologues or activist talking points. With a view to arriving at an objective assessment or of proposed ideas or solutions. The underlying rationale being that any ideas that cannot withstand scrutiny are likely to be deficient or inaccurate in some way. So my pre-production here is I'll acquire the forms needed to interview uh, people and I'll schedule the interviews with the creatives. I have a cousin that's a comedian. So he, I'm hoping he'll give me access to a greater of uh, or a wider group of people to interview and prepare questions to ask my interviewees. In the production, I'll, of course, I'll conduct the interviews with people on campus in the public and then also with the creators I scheduled with. Post here, I'll compile my video and audio files on YouTube or into YouTube shorts and videos, providing additional voiceover where needed to add more context. Then I'll use cross-platform promotion to direct traffic towards those vid videos. My deliverables. I I actually have uh, somewhat of a history with Mr. Andy Bumatai. I was on a set with him. We played chess together. So I'm hoping I could maybe use <laughs> that to gain an interview with him. Uh, this second image here is how modern uh, ideologues are, seem to be wanting to erase art or artists from the past because of the moral lens of that time. Uh, the specifics, the channel is layman explained. It's a play off of me being Hawaiian and I'm targeting the lay person trying to inform them on, you know, the prevailing narratives, jargon filled things that they might, might go over their head. So, and then once I can um, build up their understanding, I could give them the higher resolutions to, un to gain a greater understanding of all things involved. Uh, thank you. Uh, any questions?